it's time for preachers to preach and wake the sleeping dead. And that's the church. The church is the sleeping dead. The church is the one that God has to shake us and wake us. And he's trying to shake us. Let me tell you what, there's fixing to be a whole lot more shaking going on. He said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former house. And he said, and I will shake the nations. He said, and I will shake the things in the heavens, and I will shake the things in the earth. And then it will wake up the dead. And when we wake up, we're going to be resurrected. All is going to be resurrected, either to eternal life or to eternal damnation. And, you know, we just need to really, really, really be on our game. We just really, really need to watch ourselves. Watch yourselves. Watch out for yourself. You better watch out for yourself. You better keep yourself. You better watch yourself. You better make yourself pray. You better make yourself a note to get in your prayer closet. You better make yourself get to church. You better make yourself read that word. You better make yourself do the things that your lazy flesh don't want to do. Our lazy flesh is contrary to the spirit. And the spirit is contrary to the flesh. They, they detest each other. My flesh hates the things of the spirit. My, my spirit hates the things of the flesh. And vice versa too. My flesh don't want to do nothing God wants me to do. My flesh can't stand to have to submit to God, resist the devil, and flee. It wants God to just do everything or somebody do it for me. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. You know, God has, uh, God's, not, God's already done all he's going to do. He sent his son to die on a cross for you and me. For all the world, he sent his son. And he, and he said this, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And most people says, okay, I'm a believer, I'm in. And so I ain't going to do nothing else till the Lord comes back. I'm, I'm a Christian. But y'all, there's a whole lot more commandments about 630-something more commandments in the New Testament alone where Jesus said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. He's not saying everybody's going to be a disciple. It's conditional. It's conditional whether you're ever going to become disciplined enough. A disciple is one who is disciplined. They discipline themselves. They read their word. They pray. They seek God. They get to church. They do the things that Christ has commanded them to do. They're disciplined. They don't let themselves just slip off into this and slip off into that and slip into this and slip into sleep when we ought to be awake. 